the Tower of Babel. The flood had not wiped sin off the face of the earth. It seemed as if the people who lived after the flood had learned nothing at all from that horrible divine judgment. When Shem, Ham, and Japheth became great peoples, mankind turned away from the Lord again. The people on earth believed they could provide for their own happiness. They did all they could to make themselves strong. They wanted to be rich and powerful. But that was impossible in the mountainous country of Ararat. Most of mankind, therefore, migrated to the east and found a more promising place to live, a fertile plain in the land of Shinar. This area contained a lot of clay, which they could use to make bricks. It also contained lime, a kind of asphalt, which could be used for mortar. They liked the new area so much that they said to each other, let's build a city here, then we can stay here permanently. That's just what they proceeded to do. They knew it was wrong for all of them to stay together in one place, for the Lord had said that they were to spread across the earth. But the Lord's command did not concern them. Once they had built their city, they became even more proud and foolish. They said to each other, let's build a tower as well, a strong, high tower. When we wander away from our city, we'll always be able to see the tower. The tower will keep us together. We don't want to split into small, weak groups. We want to become a large, powerful nation. They baked huge bricks and dried them in the sun. They laid a broad, strong foundation and began to build walls on it. Every day the walls rose a little higher. Week after week, month after month, they worked and sweated, pouring all their strength into the project. They didn't think about God while they worked. They weren't interested in listening to his commands, for they considered themselves safe in their own power. It's going very well, they cried out. We'll make the tower so high that its top reaches all the way to heaven. The Lord God in heaven watched the work of the little people on earth and heard their foolish words. Then something very strange occurred, a quiet miracle that the people didn't even notice at first. The Lord changed the words they used. Until then, they had all spoken the same language. Now they suddenly found themselves speaking all different languages. The sentence spoken by one man was a collection of meaningless sounds to his neighbor. The people building the tower didn't understand each other anymore. Soon, quarrels broke out among the people. Small groups of people speaking the same language went off on their own. As they traveled away in different directions, they could still see the unfinished tower in the distance, a stubby finger pointing toward heaven. But they no longer cared about the tower or looked at it. Only a small number of people stayed behind in the city. There were not enough of them to continue with the great building project. They called their city Babel, which means confusion. The tower they were so proud of, the tower by which they hoped to glorify themselves, that tower now became their shame. It stood there for centuries as a reminder of a foolish plan made by little people on earth who refused to take God into account. The Story Bible for Older Children, authored by Anne DeVries and published and produced in this digital format by Paideo Press, is brought to you by the Cantaro Institute. All rights reserved.